Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the buttons element. Now, in case uh, you don't know, uh, well, you probably know what a button lo looks like, uh, but I mean, I meant if you want to have an overall look for all the styles of the uh, buttons, just go to elements and open this page. And as you can see, we've included multiple styles, various colors, uh, styles for either lined or uh, full color, uh, skewed, or multiple sizes, and width. So, now to create a button element, just let's first add a section. By default, the section has a column, so I'll just add the button. Great. So I'm first going to. You can uh, select the alignment, whether you want the uh, element to be uh, aligned on the left or onto the right or into the center. I'm just going to leave it as uh, uh, left by default and <coughs> sorry I jumped a bit. Uh, we can add as many buttons as we want in this example. I'm just going to leave two. I can also create as many elements as I want but the advantage of um, creating more here is that you can have them uh, in line listed let me explain you why I will just delete this and uh, continue a bit uh, in one minute so I'm just going to add a text just a text I'm going to add a link a target I will uh, talk about the target too and a couple of uh, other um, settings too. Now because it itches me I will just save this one. As you can see the button has appeared and here's what I meant. If I clone this element as you can see uh, this element is uh, basically a block to make it, I don't know, uh, if you want something in the right of the button you will have to resize the column. Now you can achieve uh, this, uh, this uh, inline, um, I don't know, effect, behavior, better said, just by cloning the uh, element or adding as many as you want. As you can see they will be uh, in line. We can also uh, control the uh, the spacing so no worries that there's no distance between them. So I'm going to open this one and dragging them onto the right because uh, there's also a live uh, uh, as you can see there are live options so you can see the changes. Now let me just uh, talk first about the styles as you can see we have a lot of styles I will just toggle them align custom and then we have a large button and we can also control the width I'm going to say 33 and you can make it as a block it will expand onto the full width of the parent container but I won't do that I will just add as you can see here this is the margin um, uh, style now I could have added four uh, fields but I didn't want to have too many fields so I just uh, made one here if you want to um, add uh, margin onto the right you probably know that the syntax of CSS for margins is uh, top, right, button, left. 
so if you want for example a margin 10 pixels just add 0 for top 10 pixels for uh, right 0 pixels for bottom and 0 for left you can also add an icon you can choose its uh, position whether it's before the text or after the text you can choose from the ginormous amount of icons provided or the icons you want to custom provide for the moment let's just uh, let's just disable this option it's quite intuitive you shouldn't have any uh, concerns about it so I'm going to save it and as you can see the margin has been added now I said I will talk about the target now you can use this element for many uh, in many contexts I mean you can uh, basically I don't know uh, link you can have it like a custom call to action uh, button and that's why we we considered that the best would be to have a huge variety of um, of uh, targets for example I can link in the, into the same window this will stay in the same window I can choose new window and it will open into a new window I can you can open it into a model model uh, window you have to provide the link to the image an iframe if you want to link to a website but you want it to uh, link it as an iframe or or and for iframes you can also paste here a YouTube link or Vimeo link they will work fine and you can also link to a model model inline content for example you have uh, created a custom uh, HTML code and you want to I don't know link to it so we will say my model window something like this then the last option is a smooth scroll to an anchor now I will recommend you to have a look to the anchor point uh, video to understand what that element does so you will need that element to create uh, an anchor point and you have to copy that uh, custom ID which that element will provide add it here with the hash and this button will basically scroll onto that anchor point in a very smooth way with an easy like an easy like an easy scrolling you know a uh, nice uh, nice effect so that's about it with the with the uh, button element like I said you can add as many as you want you can also preview the styles here and that should be that should be it if you have any feature requests or I don't know uh, questions or something feel free to ask and we will uh, gladly listen and help so thanks for watching see you in the next one bye